Hi everyone, Robert Doolin here with Coldwell Banker Marquee Realty and today I'm in sunny South Surrey, White Rock and I'm at the seaside community of Crescent Beach uh, which is just a beautiful little community here uh, down at the bottom of the hill away from the hustle and bustle of the city and you are literally within two blocks each direction of the beach so um, the community here uh, has tons to offer uh, summer and winter a lot of locals come down here and just uh, walk along the ocean promenade uh, and around the entire loop here which is like I said uh, three and a half kilometers uh, this direction here you have this uh, Crescent Beach Swim Club, Surrey Sailing Club, the pier is that direction uh, and Blackie Spit Park you have the Wild Bird Sanctuary, uh, Dunsmere Gardens further uh, around the point uh, and if you like to get out on the water, there is uh, Crescent Beach Marina. So if you have your own boat, they do have either dry dock or full moorage there. Uh, and there are um, uh, whale watching tours out of Crescent Beach uh, Marina as well. So lots to do down here, uh, both summer and winter, like I said. Um, this particular property is on one of the quietest streets down here in Crescent Beach, uh, Mackenzie Avenue. And we're at 2859 Mackenzie. One of the premier lots here, one of the premier locations. You do have a southwest facing backyard, which is really nice. You'll see the yard, it's uh, very private back there. Backyard oasis, really. It feels like you're in the tropics there. Um, the house itself was built by the current owners and you can see that they spared no expense. Beautiful finishings, they, you know, from top to bottom. We have three bedrooms up, a very sizable master and gorgeous master ensuite. The main floor has uh, a really nice flow to it. Um, they have a beautiful custom winding staircase or uh, curved staircase up to the second floor and a great loft space there with a ton of and abundance of natural light. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's go in and take a look at the property uh, and I'll see you at the end of the video. We'll also get you some local information here and some aerial footage of both the property and the area to really give you a good feel for the property and the community. Thank you for coming here today and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here we are just heading inside and you can see the exterior of the home here. Just beautiful. The owners here spared no expense. They actually used real stone in the facade of the or exterior of the building here. And the front entrance door is actually a double door with a Baroque glass surround and custom inlaid glass doors that look like ocean or seaside reeds to remind you that you are living by the ocean. Just beautiful. Now heading inside here, again, doesn't disappoint. Beautiful spiral staircase, boy entrance with custom maple railing. Real polished marble tile floors. What a beautiful grand entrance here. Dining room there to the left that we'll take a look at in a moment. Just want to give you a good look here at the grand entrance or foyer with that beautiful spiral staircase. Oh, and those lights there, the light fixtures are actually hand blown glass and each design is slightly different, completely unique. This video doesn't do these justice, they're just gorgeous. Heading into the dining room here, and the wood flooring is hardwood called Indonesian Cuckoo. And yes, 
That is a real crystal chandelier. Coffered ceilings above. Beautiful room here. And then the owners came up with the idea to add that bay window, which is the perfect location to sit for morning coffee and watch the birds and the squirrels and read a book. Very classy home. It's one of the entrances to the kitchen that we will make our way over to. Door just around the corner to the right there is to the double tandem garage. powder room here as well and again beautiful crystal chandelier and custom granite sink haven't seen too many powder rooms with a real crystal chandelier more of those custom light fixtures hand-blown glass heading into the family room have a Italian marble surround for the fireplace lots of moldings but not overdone very understated and classy we have the blinds down here just because of the light here at the moment but you can open those blinds right up and have a really nice view into your gorgeous backyard space. It's a palm tree just outside that second window to the from the right there. It's another view of this beautiful room. There's just a really nice flow here in this home. All the rooms are sectioned off, but the entrances to each room are wide enough and grand enough that you still feel like you have a very open floor plan. Now, this is the main floor office or den, or you could have this as a spare guest room on the main floor as well with the addition of a murphy bed or a wall bed and there's a little sneak peek out onto the backyard we'll take a full look at that later in the video kitchen, eating area, and living room. That fireplace surround is black galaxy marble, and the mantle is actual cherry wood. It's just beautiful. A 
lots of space here. Just an amazing space for having family and friends over and entertaining without feeling crowded. Give you a little look at the backyard there. You can see the current owners have a greenhouse in the backyard. And just to the left there, hidden behind the shrubs is an area for little boat if you wanted one or a trailer something like that lots of room back there full 6,000 square foot lot here and this should give you a good feel for this room There's lots of space here completely understated and very elegant style and design here. More custom hand-blown glass fixtures, even the teardrops in the kitchen are hand-blown glass. Now these are I'm told Brazilian rainforest counters. It's a five burner gas range. Tumbled marble backsplash. And that is actually a hand painted feature backsplash behind the five burner gas range. Just beautiful. Okay, a little area there that you can set up as a desk. If you're down here just relaxing and hanging out during the day, you could have a laptop there and get set up full wall oven and this is Frigidaire Professional Gallery Series Appliances. Undermount sink. And there actually is room here, if you take a look. The current owners didn't want to crowd this room, but it looks to me like you could add a butcher block island here if you wanted to. There's plenty of room for it. Just give you one last look at this area. stairs on that beautiful spiral staircase and take you through the master bedroom and ensuite and two additional bedrooms upstairs. cut here and head upstairs. Heading upstairs now, this beautiful custom spiral staircase. Master suite there just straight ahead that we'll take a look at in a moment. And you can see this is just a really nice open airy Loft space with vaulted ceiling. Fan light. And the 
this room could have multiple uses. The current owners obviously use it as a little TV or sitting area. Gorgeous window that overlooks the front street. You can tell that it's a very quiet street. You have very little traffic on Mackenzie Ave. And look at this space, it's just gorgeous. Off to the right here, we have one of three bedrooms upstairs. Lots of closet space there. And just to the side here, or the left of it, it's a full laundry room with sink and folding counter. the other direction. We have the shared bathroom with gorgeous granite counters, vanity mirror that lights up there. And the two wall sconces there actually match the lighting in the master ensuite that you'll see in a moment and that is an oversized soaker tub there as well it's a fully custom home no expense spared here Again, good sized bedroom, lots of closet space. And just outside this window here, there's a nice little added feature, room for two or three potted plants there. So that when you look from the street, that's what you see. It adds some interest and nice aesthetics to the home. That's the upper loft space. Okay, we'll just cut here and head into the master suite now. All right, heading into the master suite. Again, gorgeous custom doors here. What a grand entrance to your beautiful master suite with vaulted ceilings. Lots of natural light in this room. Beautiful fireplace that looks through right into the master ensuite there. There's two decks off the master here, one off to the right there, and just through that door there as well, to the left of the bed. And this is just such a spacious room here. has a great feel to it. Okay, before we go out to, onto that deck there, I'll just give you a little look at the walk-in closet. The current owners wanted a window. So they had these 
custom closets built for the space. And heading out onto the deck, you can see there's a, about a third of the space here is covered and they've got a heater there just to the left, the table. So you can sit out here even if the weather is not cooperating. And this deck is quite sizable and it looks out onto the backyard space there you can see and back lane. And heading into the master ensuite. Again, just a gorgeous room. And that is called a slipper tub. And I'm told that they had custom jets installed for the slipper tub so that they were in therapeutic positions to hit all your pressure points in the body. And there are the wall sconces that match that shared bathroom that we looked at just earlier. You can see that gorgeous fireplace and that surround is Brazilian rainforest tile, as is the countertop. And that is the master suite. All right, heading back downstairs. We're just gonna make our way through the main level and into the backyard to give you a feel for the grounds. All right here, just off those doors from the family room into the backyard. Flagstone patio. Just has a tropical feel back here. Really nice. So the owners added a raised soaker tub there and barbecue and countertop area with hot and cold running water. And there's another look at those palm trees. Beautiful, really nicely set up here. What a great place to sit and relax or entertain family and guests. Lots of space here for gardening, planting flowers, etc. Another look at that patio space, which is quite sizable. And the current owners say that the greenhouse can either stay or if 
a potential buyer didn't want it, then they would dismantle it and take it with them. But it is kind of neat. And there is a hidden little spot here. Well, not little spot, decent sized spot for a boat or a trailer with access straight off the lane. another look at back of the house quite attractive actually really nice patio space here and no grass to cut I'm just gonna head down this side here and front of the home super clean home here let's get a view this way while I'm opening the gate back out to the drive And just give you a look at that garage there. So this is an oversized over height door. Tandem garage. And you can see lots of space here. So you can fit two vehicles in here, no problem. Over height, of course. And actually, while I'm here, I forgot to mention, there is lots of room in the driveway for an RV. Plus two cars, at least, actually more like four cars. And to the left there, up above is the furnace room. Down below is your crawl space and storage. And then there's two more doors there down below with the same. There's your door from the main level coming down from the main part of the house into the garage. And this home was actually built a little higher than most of the homes down here. So, you ever had water or anything like that the house is actually raised up from the street level and there's a neat little feature here that the current owners installed to bring those kayaks up on ropes and pulleys just down here I'm not sure whether they're gonna leave it or not I'm sure it could be negotiable but uh, they put a little winch system there with uh, a uh, car battery to bring those kayaks up and down and you could actually just drop them right on your roof rack, no problem. Spot there for your mountain bike and lots of cabinets down there at the end for the handyman or handy woman that wants to either tinker or be able to work on the house. Built-in vacuum system there. And That is 2859 Mackenzie Avenue.
Okay, so that was 2859 Mackenzie Avenue down in the fabulous seaside community of Crescent Beach. Thanks again for coming here today and viewing the video. If you'd like any further information, you can have your realtor contact me at 604-767-3243 or they can email me at doolinsellshomes at gmail.com. Doolin is with two O's, sellshomes at gmail.com. And well, if you really have to take a look at this property, you will not be disappointed. It is absolutely a gorgeous home and great location. Hey, how's it going, guys?